His righteousness, I'm holy. Not by my own righteousness, but by the righteousness of Jesus Christ. And accepting Him as my Lord and Savior. Amen. How was the meeting? It was very, very good. It was a salvation message. And he talked about uh, Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior. And he talked about the tabernacle, the heavenly tabernacle and the earthly tabernacle. And it's not the same. And he talks about Jesus Christ and our righteousness through Jesus Christ. One thing that I, I really touched me is when he used the illustration of a, an athlete who ran for his nation. Uh, for example, he talked about uh, a gold medalist who wins a gold for his nation. And that gold medalist does not rejoice alone. But everybody in the nation rejoices because they won gold. And that one really touched me because that is what Jesus did for us. He went to the Calvary Cross alone. He died alone. But he died for all of us. And that, that really, really, really is, 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 is amazing the way, the way he put it. And so we, we were saved by grace, by faith in the Lord Jesus. And we don't have to continue to offer the same sacrifice again because he did it once and for all and he did it eternally. And that is what I got from the teaching. Very good. It's a reminder that we do not have to carry around the weight of sin, that our sins have been forgiven, they've been washed away, we are justified in the presence of God, and we thank God for it. Uh, we're just signifying to the truth and also that we have surrendered completely to God and that we are redeemed and we're rejoicing in the God of our salvation. El mensaje fue hermoso. La palabra de Dios fue clara para cada uno de nosotros, dándonos el camino y dándonos prácticamente la libertad para poder expresar la salvación de la justificación de Dios a nuestras vidas. El área de evangelización me gusta mucho, acercarme a los jóvenes, me gustó mucho el área que estuvimos aprendiendo acerca eh, de la renovación de la mente que los jóvenes necesitan en nuestros días. Y yo creo que esa es una herramienta que necesitamos utilizar en nuestros tiempos eh, para poder ayudar a los jóvenes a través de la palabra de Dios que sean renovados en sus corazones y en sus mentes. Aquí en Long Beach estamos en la misión del Divino Nazareno. Fue una experiencia maravillosa estar con ustedes hace un tiempo que sigo las, las enseñanzas del Pastor Park. Eh, no, Pastor Park, Oso Park. Eh, yo lo amo muchísimo, he crecido muchísimo a través de sus enseñanzas y cuando descubrí el trabajo de ustedes aquí en Los Ángeles me sentí muy edificado. Toda la comunidad católica de nosotros hemos tratado de involucrar Hoy vamos a estar aquí en Cantata con más de 80 miembros de nuestra parroquia. Es una gran alegría. Realmente somos mentirosos. Realmente eh, somos personas perversas. Pero la sangre de Cristo nos justifica, nos santifica, nos salva. Y quiere rescatar a cada uno de nosotros, no a través de la religión, sino a través de la palabra de Dios. Fantastic. It was a wonderful. Very good, we appreciate it. All, everything went together, I would say. They did good job, everything was all connected, beautiful and well done. Yes, uh, he preaches about uh, justification, so we don't need to pay anything. Jesus paid it all for us, so we can be rest and peace and pray and say, thank God for giving us the gift of Jesus to come and redeem us from where we used to be sinners but he came and died for us so we don't need to pay anything correct it's perfecto it's identidad justamente nos, nosotros estamos hablando de esto identidad y el pueblo necesita saber cómo nosotros fuimos justificados porque necesitamos que cristo jesús tomara nuestro lugar y nosotros pudiéramos este, en tener por él la entrada eterna Eso es tremendo me impactó el mensaje, me impactó la palabra, me impactó la revelación, la forma que lo expuso es algo impresionante. Su mensaje evangelístico también es algo muy, muy bueno, ¿no? especial. Y agradezco a Dios realmente por la vida del pastor Gabriel King. Tremendo, fue tremendo. No, this is my first time, so I heard about it at a ministerial alliance meeting, and so I was excited about it, and so wanted to come, and so we told our church about it, and so got people, uh, this community, and so we're, uh, I think it's going to be a great thing of proclaiming Christ, and uh, we're really excited about uh, seeing it, and, and then hopefully bringing more people and supporting it uh, next year. So. 
Well, I thought it was really appropriate because today is actually Yom Kippur, which is the Day of Atonement. And so uh, this is the day that the high priest would go in and do that sacrifice. And so to know that Jesus has uh, taken care of our sins once for all, that we don't have to worry about it, that we are the righteous in Christ. And so that, as he was saying, we don't have to be like the ones that uh, go back and are begging and wondering, well, have my sins been or am I still owing money to the store in his example? But no, it's all been paid. And so now we can walk around, we can walk by the store and we don't have to cower, that we don't have to cower under our sins, that it can empower us now to say, hey, I'm forgiven. And now we can go out and tell other people, hey, you can be forgiven too. You don't have to live under the weight of your sin. Jesus has dealt with that. And so uh, we can have that forgiveness. It was exciting to listen to the message of the two tabernacles. It made it so clear that, um, that uh, accepting the Lord Jesus as my personal Savior, I am forgiven, I am righteous. And this is a message that my people need, right there, need three, at this time to realize the that they sh should not feel that um, they have to continue making sacrifices daily uh, because they have done wrong. And to realize that we belong in an eternal tabernacle and that we are truly citizens of heaven that we belong to Jesus because of what Jesus did at the cross. And I am very excited about the message. It's a message that will continue, that must be heard again, over and over again, for our people to have a new heart. Thank you. Yes, uh, I've heard about it, and uh, I was uh, pretty uh, excited to, uh, to see it, because it's, uh, it's something like a musical uh, uh, a theater with uh, a story about the gospel. The message this, uh, today is really, it's really c crystal clear uh, ab about the uh, the covenant uh, God made with us through Jesus Christ. Like the old co covenant cannot save us because of the law of Moses. Nobody really could could fulfill the law of Moses. It is only through Jesus Christ by dying on the cross that He could only uh, could wash away all our sins. After those days is about, uh, about Jesus Christ dying on the cross of Calvary, like uh, God will uh, write His laws into our hearts and into our minds, and He will remember no, our sins no more. All of us have sinned and come short of the glory, but because of Jesus Christ, all of us can receive salvation and enjoy the benefits and the blessings that God has already had for mankind since the existence of the world. Salvation only comes from Jesus Christ. We, no matter how good or how perfect we think we are, none of us can get to heaven on our own. All of us. Because the Bible talks about it. The wages of sin is death. But the gift of God is eternal life. And that eternal life only comes through Christ Jesus. Amen. So unless you know Him, Paul tells the church wrong. Unless you believe in Yahweh, and confess with your mouth that Jesus is the Christ, the Son of the living God. That's the only way salvation can come. And once you receive Christ as Lord of your life, heaven and earth, heaven and earth is already yours. So accept the salvation that God has, Christ, God has already given us through Christ Jesus. Well, what I enjoyed and took away it was a while before I got the translators in to, to understand, but, but the, the part that I got to toward the end that I just enjoyed is, is that we are all sinners and that the good news of the gospel is that God has made a way to salvation for all of us. Absolutely. Right now? Oh, absolutely. Right now. How about the future? And the future. Amen. It's perpetual. Uh, at, at my church, uh, uh, one of the you know, we do a confession of sin every Sunday, and and I think the part people enjoy the most is the, is the assurance of pardon that we are forgiven. It's a wonderful thing. It's good. It's good news.